Hello and welcome to Jones Family Travels. Today I'm going to review for you a couple very popular travel mugs. So stick with us and find out who wins the battle. That's right, today I'm going to review a couple very popular travel mugs. The Yeti Rambler Tumbler from Yeti, the same people that make the coolers. And the Tervis 24 ounce cup. And we're going to go through each one in detail and let you know which one I think is the better cup. So we'll start with the Tervis. Um, the Tervis is a plastic double walled cup. So you can see when you look closely at it that there's actually like a cup inside of a cup. This is the 24 ounce. They also make a 16 ounce. Cool thing about the double wall insulated cup is that it doesn't sweat. So I can set it down on this wood desk, for example, and I don't have to worry about it leaving a ring. I don't have to have a coaster. Um, when you put it in your car, it's not gonna sweat a bunch of water down into your cup holder. So, and that is, that's also true of the Yeti. So you, it, it's a, double, a different type of double wall insulation that we'll get to later, but neither one of these cups sweat, which is a beautiful part about it, and I'm sure that's part of what lends to its popularity. The other thing about the insulation, the double insulation on this Tervis cup, is that it'll keep your cool drinks cool and your hot drinks hot for a longer period of time. And we'll talk a little more about that further along in the video. The Tervis, one of the beautiful things about the Tervis is that it's microwave and dishwasher safe. So I can just stick all of this in the dishwasher to clean it up when I need to. Of course, they recommend top rack only, but you can also microwave this. Which is, as I mentioned earlier, the Tervis does fit in most cup holders. The, you can see that I have the Salt Life Pirate Skull design. They come in so many designs you would never believe it. You have every collegiate team you could possibly think of. Pro teams, most pro teams. They obviously have the Salt Life line and brand. They have Disney brand. They have Margaritaville brand. They have Realtree, Mossy Oak, all these different brands. Um, you can even get plain. You can even customize your cup if you want to. You can't customize, these are called wrap cups. Um, so these that have a, a wrap design are not customizable. Um, but you also don't have to worry about this design going anywhere. It's on that inner cup, that, that inside plastic cup. It's sealed onto that and then you have the outer cup that's protecting it. So it's not gonna fall off or peel away or anything like that. The other thing that's really cool, not only do they have so many designs, but they have a ton of accessories for the Tervis Cups. You can get a handle, so it has you know, a little way to hold it and drink from it and things like that. You can get a different lid that accommodates straws, and of course they have the plastic straws that go with the straw lid. So there's lots of different ways to accessorize your Tervis Cup. There's also lots of different designs. This is the you know, standard Tervis 24 ounce cup. They have the 16 ounce cup, but they also have like a mug, kind of like a big coffee mug. They have little sippy cups for toddlers. Uh, so there's lots of different Tervis cups out there. It's very versatile. And it's a great cup. There are a couple of cons that I'll share with you. One is the vent for the lid is very close to where your nose hits the lid when you're drinking. So if you tilt it up and your nose hits that, that vent hole, it's going to stop the water flow or the liquid flow into your mouth. I've, I've noticed it. it what I, I, the way I've compensated is I just tilt my head further back so my nose doesn't hit that lid. But when I first got it, that was something I really had to get used to is that my nose kept hitting and it doesn't take much. And it's just right in the right place where your nose hits that vent hole, covers it up, and the liquid stops flowing almost completely. So that's just something to be aware of. You don't have to use the lid. You can take the lid off and just drink straight from the cup. But I kind of like the lid. And you know, the other nice thing about the lid is that it has a cover. So you can completely close it. It will still leak a little bit if you tip it over. It at least gives you some preventative measure. I mean, you can see I tipped it over. This is a full cup with water. Um, it's not leaking at all. I'm tilting it down and you're getting you know a few drops. So 
The lid is good. It does a good job of, of keeping the liquid inside the cup. It's got, that makes it nice, especially when we're at the parks, that I can fill it up with water and put it in my backpack and close that lid and water's not gonna come splashing out all over my backpack or my back or anything like that. So it works really well. It's almost like a water bottle, not quite as safe and secure as a water bottle would be, but pretty close. One other slight con with this one, especially when I'm comparing it to the Yeti, is insulation value. Um, and we'll kind of move towards the Yeti. The Yeti I've left in my truck in Florida for 12 hours, come back, and there's still ice in the ice water that I left in. I mean, this keeps beverages cold forever. I, I, I couldn't believe that in the hot Florida sun inside a vehicle, it still kept the ice. I mean, there wasn't much ice, and some had melted, but there were still ice chunks inside of my drink when I came back to the truck. Uh, I think that's a pretty incredible feature. You won't find that with, with the Turbis cups. It does keep your drinks cold and hot drinks hot. It's just when you compare it to the Yeti, there's no comparison. It, it can't keep up. Um, I've, I've come back to my truck after a couple hours with the Turbis cup with ice water in it and the ice is all gone. The drink's still cold, but the ice is gone. So it just gives you an idea that, that this type of insulation that they use in the Yeti is not quite, or in the, this double wall plastic is not quite the insulation value that they have in the Yeti. So since we're talking about the Yeti, let's move on, on to that one. Yeti, they call them their Rambler Tumbler. They come in two sizes. This is the 20 ounce and they have a 32 ounce. All right, not a 32, a 30 ounce. Sorry, 20 ounce and 30 ounce. That's really the only options. Remember I talked with the Turvis about how many different variations there are of this, how many different accessories there are with them. Yeti, there are no accessories. There are no options. There's the two sizes. That's it. They are both kitchen grade 18.8 stainless steel. I mean, it's amazing. It's fantastically light, extremely durable. Um, I really like the stainless steel. I like the look of the stainless steel. That's a personal preference thing, but um, I really like the stainless steel. The kitchen grade point, the 18.8, probably doesn't mean much to you, but what that means is you don't get a metallic taste from this cup. So even though it's metal, it doesn't you know, add a metal taste to your water or your soda or anything like that. I mean, I drink all kinds of stuff out of this cup and I have never tasted a metallic taste out of it. And so, you know, they spend a little extra money getting that kitchen grade stainless steel, but I feel like it's worth it. It is, it is a double wall vacuum insulated cup. And I'm convinced that's where you get the insulation value on this. Uh, their, their marketing says, keeps your drink cold as long as science will allow. <laughs> It definitely does that. I mean, I'm just amazed at how long this will keep your drinks cold. Both of these cups will accommodate hot drinks, like coffee. I drink coffee out of my French press cup. I think you've seen it in a couple videos. And so I don't ever put coffee in these. I've never tried a hot beverage in these to see how that tastes or lasts and stays hot. Um, I do have a friend that uses a Yeti cup for her coffee. And she says, eight hours later, it's still nice and warm. So I would assume, just like the cold, it's going to keep the hot drinks hot for a very long time also. Again, just like the Yeti, this one fits most cup holders. This one's a little bit bigger on the bottom than the Tarvis. So it's a little tighter fit in your cup holder. Um, the whole vent issue that I mentioned with the Tarvis, you don't have with the Yeti because the vent is way back here on the cup. Uh, so your, your nose is hit, hitting where the Yeti logo is in the middle of the lid and the vent is way in the back, so you don't have that issue. However, you do not have a way to actually close the lid. It's just an open mouth port and that's it. So if there's any sloshing, you know, carrying it around in your backpack, um, you could run into some issues with this one with leakage. So what are the cons to the Yeti? Well, one is it is very very expensive. Uh, this is a 20 ounce cup. This is a 24 ounce cup. It doesn't sound like there's that much difference, but I, you know, to me, there's a noticeable difference in how much liquid I can get into my Tervis versus my Yeti. This one was about $17 at the Tervis store when I bought it. 
This one is $30. Doesn't matter where you buy it. You want to bump up to the 30 ounce Rambler and it's $40. So you're talking a significant cost in these Yeti cups. Everyone that has them is a huge fan. I'm a huge fan, but I do find that I use this one more often. So which one of these cups wins the battle of the review? At least for me, I think I, I, I lean towards the Turbis for a few reasons. One, I use it way more than I use my Yeti. I use this on a daily basis. I fill it up with ice and water and drink it most of the day. The Turbis goes with me almost everywhere. Pretty much as long as I have good access to ice and water, this is the cup I'm going to stick with for my beverages. The Yeti is a great cup when I'm at hunt camp and I don't have access to ice to keep my drink cold. You know, if I start out from home or I'm at hunt camp in Texas and all I have is a cold beverage from the cooler, then this is going to be the go-to cup because I know it's going to keep that drink cold for a very long time even if I don't have access to ice or a refrigerator. Same thing if I'm out fishing put a cold drink in it in the morning, I know it's still gonna be cold down the road. The one disadvantage, like I said, is I got the smaller 20 ounce Rambler versus the 30 ounce. And you know, over the course of the day, you're gonna drink a lot more than 20 ounces. I kind of went back and forth with why I got the 20 ounce. Uh, the 30 ounce is big and a little bulky, and I do a lot of walking around in the parks, things like that, carrying my drinks in my backpack. And the 30 ounce just didn't, it wouldn't have fit in the backpack quite as much. The other thing was it was just cost prohibitive. I just could not see, it was hard enough for me to spend $30 on a cup, but spending $40 on a cup was really difficult for me to get past. But that's the way Yeti is too. I mean, their coolers are $400. I can't imagine spending $400 on a 35 liter or 35 quart cooler either. But on a day-to-day -day basis, I have to go with my Turvis because that's the one I use the most. What do you have to say? Which one's your favorite?